Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today we're going to discuss how to remove negative items from your credit and just a little bit of history about myself. I've worked in finance for about 18 years, and when I was younger, um, I worked at a collection agency. I've helped a lot of people build their credit, I helped a lot of people uh, improve their credit, and I've helped a lot of people. Uh, get out of credit problems and I'm going to share some of my knowledge with you and the first step to uh, improving your credit go to annualcreditreport.com I'm going to have a link below I'm not getting endorsed by any of these websites it's a completely free service uh, from the government and you can pull up any of your credit bureaus for uh, once a year for free so you want to pull up all three of your credit bureaus. We're talking about Experian, TransUnion, Equifax. So once you pull up all three credit bureaus, now we're gonna we're gonna highlight any negative information, whatever it is. You're gonna highlight it, and I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna leave some uh, some links below to some letters that I have that are pre-written, and they've worked really well. And um, also. Uh, how to remove uh, hard inquiries if you did not get approved for the card and you applied for an AMX card and they declined you I'm going to show you how to uh, how to get that removed uh, and the, the letter will be in the description below so it will be a, a Google or a Dropbox link so how to improve your credit um, so you've highlighted all the negative items whether it's a 30 day late I want you to get rid of it if it's a collector's account and you know what it is, uh, do not pay the, uh, the collection account. What you want to do is call the creditor first, right? Talk to them and tell them that you're agreeing to pay for uh, pay this, right? Whatever amount you agree on, but you want this item deleted off your credit uh, uh, off your credit profile. You do not want to show updated or paid or settled any of these other uh, other markings that they could put on it or uh, we want the, the that account to be completely deleted so they want your, their money they really don't have a long-term benefit of scarring your credit so I've gotten every one of my creditors if I ever had something in the past and life happens right um, I've had every one of my creditors remove uh, their mark from my credit profile and agree to this um, you just got to ask and don't make the payment first until you get that uh, acknowledgement and uh, sometimes have them fax you if the person's really not uh, being trustworthy have them email you however you can get them to agree to these terms you want to do that and now comes up the other items that were the 30 day late Whatever it is, we're going to go ahead and write a letter to the credit bureaus and we're going to mail this off. And I know you can do this online. I recently had a Verizon collection, which I have no knowledge of. I've had Cricket uh, for many, many years and AT&T before that. Um, so this Verizon collection came on my account. I went online and uh, tried disputing it. And spent a lot of time trying to do that and with uh, no success I wrote uh, a letter to the the credit bureaus and it dropped off right and in the letters were, were basically asking them to prove that it's our account and uh, to show us uh, a receipt or a signature that I authorized somebody to pull my credit or what number that account was connected to the payment history and from my years of working at the collection agency I can tell you this when a file came over for collections it only came in the form of an Excel that said uh, what was the name of the creditor the original creditor how much what did you owe the account number your social security your date of birth but it never had proof that you actually owed it so when you ask for proof these uh, uh, collection agencies don't have it there's so much paperwork that they're not going to be able to transition all that and this happens with uh, a lot more than collections accounts I've had friends uh, where they couldn't find the, the mortgage right so they had to do a modification for them 
I've had uh, this happen in uh, car transactions, but that's a little less likely because the dealer keeps that pro uh, keeps that credit app, uh, and they're supposed to maintain it for a certain number of years. Um, but you want to ask for the proof, so those letters will be below. And now uh, you're going to go through a series of these. So when you write the the first letter, you may not get the result that you want. So there's there's a total. This, these letters have a total of three parts. So I have never gotten to the third part, and the collect uh, the creditor or the credit bureau still hasn't removed it. Now things like bankruptcies, foreclosures, tax liens. Uh, these are going to be a, a little bit of a different strategy and there is ways of doing it. It is just a little harder. If you have a tax lien, uh, you probably want to do a little bit more research and I'll try to include that on this end screen here if possible. But uh, that's, that is not as easy, but for, just for general auto loans, uh, car uh, uh, Missed car payments, credit cards, right? All these little tiny things. Uh, the the letters work really well. So, and then to maintain uh, your credit ongoing, please never apply for just uh, meaningless credit, right? So I'm talking about the fingerhead accounts that are out there that'll give you the $300 limit. Don't do that, please. Uh, don't co-sign for uh, for somebody you just met. Um, or co-sign for anybody period uh, you know if I'm gonna co-sign for somebody I might as well uh, just help them establish their credit so I don't have to uh, do this right so uh, before uh, they ask me to co-sign if in case that conversation happens I'm gonna add them to one of my credit cards I'm gonna keep the credit card I'm gonna be in control and I'm gonna put them on a on a $17,000 credit limit credit card and I can do it to three of them uh, to three different accounts and now when they go pull up their credit three months later it looks like they have the, the best credit history in the world right so there's other ways around co-signing uh, and then the the last part of this is never miss a payment so have all your accounts on auto pay it is so easy to do and you can always go in there and pay it off early uh, but in case you go on vacation you just don't feel well Avoid all those unnecessary uh, last-minute uh, bill payments and fees that you can pay by doing it through Western Union or convenience fees. All these are just a waste of time, money, and uh, just not necessary. So let me know what you guys think. If you like, if you like these videos, guys, about uh, you know becoming financially aware. And how to avoid interest and take advantage of um, uh, of the programs that are out there for people with good credit. Um, hit the hit the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Please share this with your friends and family. If there's something that you guys want me to cover, please uh, leave it in the comments below, and I'll be sure to to make a video for you guys that addresses uh, that particular subject. And have a great day.